Hey boys, Seth Ramy for Ryan Nerds. We're on to the next part of my Deus Ex Human Revolution Let's Play. Um, so, in yesterday's part, we went, we've yeah. cleared the mission to try and short some money. It didn't go quite according to plan. And I ended up, well, losing money effectively. Um, so, I didn't get anything to be fair, just put money around. So, we're now going to carry on. We now know where the hacker is, so we're going to go track him down. Uh, Never remember my way around Hank, shall I? Oh, yeah, it's all the way over here. So you go down, right, and then the left. Nasi 尤其是如果你喝醉了奧曼在夜間在油炸地區獨自行走。Yeah, hey, I might never get to it. How about help, please? Okay. Be nice to be able to raid these buildings. Christians will get in trouble for us. Just listening to someone say, "What are you doing?" Right, I'm going to go straight for that bit. Because of past leaf resistance. There we go. Access granted. It's always best you can to get the actual trace program. Because if you do that, then you um, probably get more stuff. I suppose I can sell them. Okay, we're going to go past the least resistance. Access grant. Good. Typhoon ammo. Why is the typhoon ammo here? Because that's a sad thing to be special thing. There's the garden pods. Good. One more to go. 
So the reason I'm going this way is because but the best thing to do is now I'll try and go for that one. I'm trying to go straight for the um, hacking program. Yes, I'll probably get caught doing this one. It's okay because I've got plenty of time to just turn the hacking. There we go. Now you're going to get me. Access granted. Brilliant. Lots and lots of goodies. Oh, this is obvious for sure. We're going to go for this one. There we go. Access granted. Okay. Good. So I've got all them. What are you so scared about? Alright, oh, let's go on pods.如果他们不这么做，那就是傻子。我们都还是有一个选择。他妈的，来信给他，让他们交易。如果他们不这么做，那就是傻子。我们都还是有一个选择。他妈的，来信给他，让他们交易。Oh look, gift shop. 我能感觉到他就在那堂着呢。哦，对，不好意思。哎，你找到工作了吗？没有，你呢？也没有。Harvester。Okay, I guess it makes sense for harvesters to be here, given that um. Given that um, what do you call it? They have a hack in their pocket. Yes, yes. Beds on second and third floor. Showers and laundry in basement. You want a pot? Okay. Oops. Let's explain that. That could be useful. See me? No. Let's um see what's going on in here. I'll go straight for the trace program. Access granted.
See me um, back in this. So now I'm going to go for the. Goodbye. Access grant. Thank you. Whoa, a thousand credits, that's more like it. There we are. Sealed off. Huh? Jensen, I... I was on my way out. What are you doing here, Malik? I told you I got this one. I know, it, I didn't do anything. Trust me, Van Bruggen's all yours. Hang on a second. Something's wrong. What is it? Why are you here? It's nothing. I mean, can't a girl have secrets? Malik. Jensen, if you even think of using that Casey mod on me, I will hit you. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm just <laughs> concerned, that's all. Fine, since you're so damn curious. Years ago, I used to live here, remember? My friend, my best friend, Evelyn. She was like a sister to me. Made living here fun. But then, there was an accident. She... She's dead. I'm sorry, Malik. Wait, Jensen, let me finish. I thought I was okay with it, but... I know. I know she didn't just die. She was killed. Murdered. Her damn scumbag boyfriend did it. I know he did. I knew he was trouble right from the start, but she just wouldn't listen to me. Malik, easy. If your friend was murdered, the police would have suspected something. They would have investigated. That's just it. There was no investigation. They said she fell down a flight of stairs like it was some kind of freak accident. But her wounds, the way she died, they don't add up. It's right here in the damn blood spatter analysis. Blood spatter? You've seen the police report? Yes. A friend left a copy of it in a pod here for me to pick up. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but I think... I think there's been a cover-up. I just have to prove it. If I could get my hands on the autopsy report, the one that never surfaced, I know I'd get the truth. Except... Why do I suspect I'm about to get dragged into something? Look, Jensen, I'm sorry. I know Van Bruggen is the priority here. And I told you it was my business and I could take care of it. It's just... The more I think about it, the more I realize I'm in over my head. I'm just a pilot. I'm not a damn cop. But I need to know the truth. Okay. Well, Dre also wants to send him off man. He's a friend. You said you've seen the police report. Who gave it to you? An old friend who was also a good friend of Evelyn's. He used to work for the Shanghai PD. He left a copy of it along with a few other things concerning Evelyn in a pod here for me to look at. He also left some instructions on how to contact someone at Lim for the autopsy report he's convinced was intentionally buried. Why would Lim have anything to do with Evelyn's autopsy report? Well, if you haven't noticed, the Chinese government has been outsourcing branches of its public services for years. Bell Tower polices the streets, and nowadays Lim does more than just cosmetic surgery. They're often contracted for special cases like Evelyn's. And what made Evelyn's case so special, you think? Her boyfriend, Lee. He was at the scene. He had Evelyn's blood on him and tested positive for alcohol and drugs in his system. With his rap sheet, it wasn't looking good for him. But his family, they're on a lot of boards with deep pockets and a lot of reach. They wouldn't suffer the embarrassment of having their son indicted on a suspected murder charge. Why do you suspect Evelyn's boyfriend had something to do with her death? Because he was poisoned, right from the start. 
Born into money and influence, but never once assuming responsibility for anything. I don't think he's worked an honest day in his life. So he was a wealthy, big-headed asshole. If that was reason enough to accuse someone of murder, half the world would be in the pen. No, there's more to it than that. He's known for violent outbursts, domestic altercations. He nearly killed a kid over some stupid gambling feud. The problem is, his family made him untouchable, even to the police. And Evelyn was okay with all of this? She... always tried to see the good in people, give him the benefit of the doubt. You could say that's just being naive or even stupid, but I think she was just... innocent. Tell me about Evelyn. She was beautiful, carefree, loved to have a good time. I met her during my internship for a private transportation and logistics firm here in Shanghai. She was a great pilot, too. Knew how to feel the currents, to push the bird just so. Too bad her talents for reading the wind didn't translate to reading guys. How so? She was always getting into trouble with the wrong crowds. And it always had to do with some boy. She knew I didn't like him, her boyfriend at the time, Lee. It drove a wedge between us, and when we parted ways, it wasn't amicable. I understand. She was a good girl, Jensen. She deserved better. And it's interesting, because I feel that that should have been asked first, because then that would go on to the boyfriend's source, but... So I should have been over this side, because you tend to work left to right. This autopsy report, once you got your hands on it, what were you planning on doing next? I... I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm a pilot, not a cop. But I just... I felt I had to do something while I had the chance. Maybe once you get the report and we know what it says, we can... Improvise. Okay, I'll help. What do you need me to do? My lead. He works for Lim. He's a systems technician who apparently has access to their entire database. He's willing to hand over a copy of Evelyn's autopsy report. So you want me to meet him and get the report? Is that it? Yes, but he'll only respond to a certain phrase. Death and life have their determined appointments. To which he'll reply, Riches and honors depend upon heaven. Christ, Malik, this is starting to sound like something out of a bad spy movie. I know. He's just trying to protect himself. I didn't pick the damn quote. So just play along and remember the line, okay? You'll find him inside the lobby of the Lower Hengshaw Lim Clinic. Does this guy have a name? <sighs> None that I know of. But he apparently goes by the handle Anonymous X. I know, I know. Anonymous X. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, before I forget, everything concerning Evelyn's... incident? Newspaper articles, the police report, limb details, it's all inside pod 009 here in the hotel. You should read over everything if you can. Pod 9. Got it. I need to go. Contact me with any updates and... Thank you. I really appreciate this, Jensen. Okay, we'll do that first, so... What I'm going to do then, guys, is I'm going to... Because I want to do side... I always say to do side quests before main quests. I'm going to not go back. I'm just going to get this information pod, then I want to go back out and do the Evelyn mission. I'm circulating a petition to have two women on the second floor of the West Wing evicted. Will you sign? It's very obvious they're involved in prostitution. I know this is not exactly a five-star hotel, but if people want escorts, they can go to the Honghua. Okay, where are sign? That's also way up. So what I'm going to do then, we'll have a look around here, and then we'll um, move on with doing the um, Evelyn's mission, and then we will um, go back to sort of the hacker house. It doesn't happen often, folks, but it appears that I may have to return. I don't know why I'm here to find out where people are going to find the door. Yes, this is the end. I can only get to the door and get to the door. I don't know if there's anything wrong. Look, I'm very excited. Hey, you know where I can find some goods? Maybe. What about candy? Any good stuff over here? There isn't serious trouble, Eliza. And it's time that we as a species stepped up to make things better. Oh, hello. Ah, you buy or sell? I do it all. Look at a computer and see for yourself. OK. 
Okay, let's sell some more useless gear. That's my whole set. Do a small combat with my friend, I haven't got a lot of that. Do a small there as well. Split rounds, who are they for? Bye bye. I see you soon. Best off, I think, in the combo rifle. Oh, it's all of them. Everything you want, right here. Let's try that again. Come back any time. Will do. How many price one I got? Just the one. Okay. Like What's that for? See, I can't have that. Everything then. I'll sell that to him at some point. Deny allegations of involvement in secret United Nations meetings about the augmentation debate. Here's what the man had to say. My business is uh, uh, related exclusively to the project which has consumed all of my attention. You're referring to the pension. Right, let's go upstairs. Can you see that just will ruins the immersion having a sewer like that? I know what you have in there. I don't know what you're talking about. I saw you with Ferret in your shirt the other day. You know pets are not allowed in hotel. That's not true! I tell Mr. Chell if you not get rid of it. You're a very mean lady. Sorry. Didn't mean to jump into here. Was related exclusively to the project which has consumed all of my attention. What manga? You look at the Earth Seekosphere is in serious trouble, Eliza. And it's time that we as a species stepped up to make things better. Our best chance at doing this is to modify ocean temperatures through a combination of iron seeding and geothermal management. Forgive me, Mr. Many people believe that your Arctic Ocean installation is more risk than certainty. When will we be able to see the truth for ourselves? As soon as the installation is complete. If you would like to hear more of my exclusive interview with you, Daryl, log on to www.pikesweb.com. This is Eliza Kassad reporting to you live.
related exclusively to the project which has consumed all of my intended. I wish that's the New York music. No, she not can music, sorry. And that was one of my missions. I'll come back to that part. Uh, that's why I smell John right. Ocean temperatures through a combination of ion and geothermal management. Forgive me, Mr. Darrow. I call I would cause hoovering when I just go around just finding all the goodies hidden away in various places. Okay。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。
Okay. Millionaire Hugh Darrow has contacted me personally to deny allegations of involvement in secret United Nations meeting about the augmentation. My visit to Prague was related exclusively to the Russian government. All of my attendance. Okay, this is where the hacker is, but I don't want to deal with him yet. So I'll come back for him. And geothermal management. Forgive me, Mr. Darrow, but many people believe that your Arctic Ocean. So the guy in Capsule 143 left his pot door open. Yeah, so I couldn't help but sneak a look inside. And, and? He has so much stuff lying around. It's incredible. I could have snatched an evil or two, but I held back. Oh, you should have. At least then we'd have some juicy reading material for tonight. Ah, uh, what kind of really, what kind of person would go around looking in open pods and stealing all their stuffing? I mean, that kind of person would be despicable. I mean, how could anyone do such a thing? Ooh, PDA. Away from the bomb. Good to see a gun hanging around, that's good. Good. So I have to remember, I haven't got an Icarus landing system, so I keep. I usually have a knock by this point. And I keep trying to jump. So I'll just jump down there, and yeah, no, I wouldn't survive. I would, but be very, very injured at the end of it. Millionaire Hugh Darrell has contacted me personally to deny allegations of involvement in secret United Nations. Okay. Okay then guys, this one will do. I'll probably be able to explore. I know we're not really done much, so we just will be explored and Golden Crystal Mount, so we're going to do that in the next part, and I will do the hack of the part after. So, thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next part. Until then, see you then. Thank you.